In the 19th century, news of the discovery of gold in BC reached people's ears quickly. This event was to change the social landscape of the West Coast forever, and from this thirst for gold, a new British colony, British Columbia, was formed. In 1857, gold was found in the Thompson River in British Columbia. Gold fever spread like wildfire as thousands of people traveled from across the continent hoping to strike it rich. Many of these people were Americans who embarked on unsuccessful quests for gold eight years earlier in 1847 during the California Gold Rush. Much of the gold-bearing land in California was already taken by other miners. Governor James Douglas on Vancouver Island became alarmed at the influx of American settlers in British Columbia. He wrote to Britain expressing his fears. If we continue to let these foreign individuals enter British Columbia, I fear this colony will soon fall under the influence of the United States. British Columbia could, quite possibly, be annexed to our neighbor in the south. To prevent such an event from happening, Britain created the colony of British Columbia and appointed Douglas to be the governor. The Royal Engineers, led by Colonel Richard Moody, was dispatched in 1859 to act as a security force to ensure peace in the region. At the same time, the gold within the Fraser and Thompson Rivers became depleted. Gold miners moved to the Caribou region of British Columbia in the hopes of finding more of the prized elements. Through the lust for gold, a mining town named Barkerville gradually started to develop at the heart of the Caribou. Named after Billy Barker, an English sailor who was one of the first to strike it rich, the town grew into a vibrant community quickly with a large number of Chinese and white residents. To take advantage of the gold rush, Governor Douglas decided to build a road linking Barkerville and Yale, another mining town, along the Fraser Canyon. During construction of the road, huge parts of the canyon were blasted away. Members of the Royal Engineers and some First Nations were assigned the task of working on the project, which became known as the Caribou Wagon Road. Unfortunately, the gold rush was dying as the construction of the Caribou Road came to an end. By 1868, when the road was finished, most of the miners had already moved away from the Caribou region. The town of Barkerville suffered from fires twice, once during that year and another time in 1883. Towards 1900, the population of Barkerville slowly declined. The colony of British Columbia became massively in debt due to the construction of the road, something not foreseen by Governor Douglas, who retired in 1868. This would be a major factor for British Columbia joining Confederation in 1871. Another direct effect of the Caribou Gold Rush was the unprecedented population growth in the major settlements of British Columbia. The settlements in Vancouver Island New Westminster and the Kootenay region grew dramatically in terms of population. Because of this, the Caribou Gold Rush is often referred to as the reason for the formation of the colony of British Columbia. In 1958, Barkerville was made a tourist attraction by British Columbia's provincial government. Restored to its former appearance, the town is a major monument that will represent the history of British Columbia and Canada forever.